welcome back to ophthalmology for undergraduates and postgraduate beginners today's topic of interest is symmetricity of the face and orthophoria the first topic i am going to discuss today is symmetricity of the face whether the face is symmetrical or not when you consider about the symmetricity of the face we have to think about a imaginary line passing through the center of our face like this i have drawn a picture of face here i have drawn a line passing through the center of the face we have to compare one half of the face with the other half whether both sides are equal or not if both sides are equal then the face is said to be symmetrical we have to consider many things while saying the face is symmetrical if you consider my face i have a hair crease on my right side obviously this makes my face asymmetrical but this is not clinically significant hair crease is not a clinically significant one it is not going to help you in making any diagnosis somebody can have a mole on one side of the face that is also not clinically significant so we have to consider clinically significant things while saying a face is symmetrical or not a classical example is facial nerve paralysis in facial nerve paralysis what will happen suppose the right side facial nerve muscle is paralyzed the mouth will be pulled towards the left side when patient closes both the eyes he can close the left eye well but right eye he will not be able to close so the labial crease will be absent on the side of facial nerve paralysis the other side it will be very prominent the forehead crease will not be present on the side of facial nerve paralysis it will be obvious on the other side so this is an example classical example of a asymmetricity of a face suppose a patient is having a third cranial nerve paralysis then automatically on that side the levator palpebrae superiorus muscle is paralyzed so that side of the eye will be closed the other eye will be open this will cause a asymmetricity so you have to consider the clinically significant points only sometimes a patient may have a congenital defect like cleft palate cleft lip all those things so that those things has to be considered sometimes there may be a deviation of the nose towards one side that may affect the inner nose and the lacrimal drainage system is draining into the inner nose so drainage of the lacrimal duct may be a problem so we should consider only about the clinically significant points while saying a patient is having a symmetricity of the face or the face is symmetrical or not the next topic of interest today is whether the eyes are orthophoric or not what do you mean by orthophoria when a patient or a person is asked to look at a distance in front of him you have to observe the eyes if both the eyes are parallel or looking in the same direction then the eyes are said to be orthophoric so i have drawn two pictures here in the first picture above both the eyes the cornea is in the center they are parallel so these eyes are orthophoric in the next picture below in the right eye the cornea is in the center the left eye the cornea is deviated outside both the eyes are not parallel so this is a classical example of the patient's eyes are not orthophoric not orthophoric this says that there is some squint or strabismus in the patient we have to find out what is this problem why we diagnose the patient with this we'll stop today we will go to the next topic in the next video thank you all